happens creative flow evolution where creativity has no boundaries. We would all love to know simple, quick and effective ways to keep our spirits high, especially in this day and age. Now, in this video I'm going to show with you a really powerful and special technique which not only strengthens our inner spirit and belief that we can achieve what we want, it also enhances our creative flow and gives us a sense of purpose for our day. Now, the process is as easy to use as counting one, two and three. And it works like magic because it enhances our inner spirit and energy to attract what we really want. Everything you need to know about this is going to be shared in this video. All you need now is a pen, sorry, book, paper, a pen and your heart. So stay tuned. Now before I share this technique with you, which I'll do so in a few minutes, I'd first like to explain how and why it works, because with deeper understanding it's more likely to be used. Um, you're going to know what I mean when you start using the process and its immediate effect. But let's first talk about the power of intention. Now our intentions determine how we interact with the world, and therefore has an impact on our personal success. You see, intention is purely a decision, which determines where we place their energy, time and focus upon. And whenever we lack intention, we tend to go astray without meaning or direction. And with that direction, we might as well go perhaps run in the fields every day, totally naked, without a purpose. Now, as Wayne Dyer said in his famous speech, um, not one thing is created without intention. Everything is interconnected. And we also know that energy is everything. And where thoughts go, energy flows. You see, all anger, sadness, and even depression holds a certain energy inside us, which is felt. Now, like attracts like. Negative energy attracts negative, and positive attracts positive. So what we want to be able to do at any time is to change our thoughts and energy so that we're constantly aligned with our high streams and aspirations. Every, every day, intention setting does this. Now, not only will we be connecting to our highest self, but also allowing the subconscious mind to work towards a goal, or the reticular activating system. For example, if you go and set an intention to go and buy a brand new yellow car for the day, you'll certainly notice how many yellow cars there are on the road, because that's how the reticular activating system works. It notices as opportunities that trigger sensors to bring into our awareness what we need to know. And for sure, the forces of the universe align to support even the most impossible intentions to become possible. Um, watch the film Star Wars, which actually supports this concept very well. Now, so what I'm saying is, ideally we want to review our intentions on a daily basis, so that we ensure that our focus is based on what we want to create in an immediate and future basis. Which is what Creative Flow Evolution is all about. So the first step is to decide what you really want. Now it could relate to what you want to achieve for the day. You may want to, for example, resolve a current problem or issue you're experiencing, or you might want to feel happy and in harmony with your daily activities. See, it could be um, you want to do well at a job interview, or have a lot of fun and success with a date with a sexy man or woman. Just get, just get inventive and get playful. See, what you want to bear in mind is that the law of attraction works best with intentions that allow a step-by-step -step development and are realistic. Now, what I mean by this is that winning the lottery ticket is not necessarily going to support that. So our intention should be ecological and realistic, meaning that it has a power of good behind it, and the desired outcome will not intentionally harm anybody or the environment. The reason for this is because the universal laws of attraction support this much more powerfully. So this is what this step is all about. Now the next step is to grab a piece of paper or book and write down specifically what you want to achieve. Now describe it in a context as if you already achieved it. For example, imagine yourself standing there knowing, feeling, experiencing that you've reached your goal. You've already accelerated it. Write down what you visualise, feel as the end result. Now, I've used this on plenty of occasions, especially big challenges like going for a job interview or having a gig performance in front of a lot of people. You see, an example of this, I set the intention to have an amazing gig by imagining myself playing, singing on the guitar with ease, flow and harmony and entertaining the many. And the end result is that I see people dancing, smiling, interacting with us and giving us compliments for their performance. 
You see, the more specific you are with your written intention, the better. The reason for this is because you're more likely to achieve it, the more clear you are. And the universal laws of attraction loves clarity of intention, for sure. So this is how this step works. Now the next step is to hold the intention close to your heart and feel and imagine the energy of that intention circulating from your heart into your whole body. Breathe slowly, relax and allow yourself to send energy into that intention. Feel the positive emotions of that outcome and allow the energy to integrate into your being. When you do this, you'll start to notice that your energy starts to change almost instantaneously, which helps you feel like you've already achieved the outcome which is really powerful stuff. If you practice this on a daily basis with new intentions, you'll for certain feel energised and confident that you can create what you want in life. And you can achieve this within 5-10 to 10 minutes of your time. The more you practice, the stronger it becomes. And instinctively you know when you've got enough energy inside of you because you start to feel fantastic. So the technique itself is fun, simple and easy to use. Now, it helps us to be clear on our desired outcomes by you know, reviewing what our intentions are for the day. Really powerful. It helps us to feel that we are the creators of our own lives. As Freddie Mercury once said, once saying, no, sorry, saying plenty of times, it's a kind of magic. So if you've enjoyed this video, you can obtain my super giveaway, which is a colourful mind map and an MP3 of the whole process. So you can download for free and practice every day. Just use the link below the video. Now, if you feel anyone could benefit from this video, please share the video with them using the buttons below. I'd like to say thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a super inspiring, creative day, and you achieve your dreams. So, I'll see you very, very soon.